Oh, ho, my hearties. A very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on TikTok. This is the big one. A very, very good morning to you and a very warm welcome to our Friday morning AM broadcast, where we are live streaming on the world's top streaming platform, TikTok. Excellent to be with you, of course. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you were scrolling through the lives and there was Scotty McClue. And you thought, this is the world's top broadcaster. This is the first lord of the internet. I will chummy him and see what he is talking about. And that is a very, very smart move. If you're ever scrolling through, always come and join Scotty McClue because there's always something interesting to talk about and there's always something interesting to discuss. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song, says Julie? Every single one of them, Julie. I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. So there you are, just to let you know that. This is the Internet Hero. This is the football show. We love it. Dinky Doo. And a very warm welcome. Come and join us. Sean says, Molly Scotty, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, Sean. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Friday morning. I know it's much earlier than we normally pop up, but I just wanted to see what was happening because come next week, when lockdown things change, I probably won't be able to pop up in the morning. So I thought I'll pop up this morning and say hi to everybody. So do come and join us. Please follow me. Molly Scotty, it's been a while. Hello, Rona. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, I say, what does Dinky Do mean? Dinky Do means is all well with you and the world. That's what it means. It's fantastic. And it's a lovely, lovely saying. And I've been using it for 20 29 years. It's Scotty McClue's catchphrase. It's almost interchangeable with Scotty McClue in international broadcasting. So if somebody says, oh, the chap, um, Scotty, Scotty, um, I dinky do, that's a dinky do, that's him. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Remember me, kitten, of course I remember you. Lovely to see you again. You're a blessed soul. Good luck getting back into the swing of it. Rona, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. You are a blessed soul too. Please follow me, everybody, as soon as you can. Well, dinky do to you. If that's how you use it, X, please, dinky do. When you're coming on to Scotty McClure in mainstream television or radio, you would always greet him with dinky do, and he would greet you with dinky do. They were followed by your name. You go, dinky do, Margaret. There we are. Um, Oh, I had the COVID vaccine, says Tony. It was painless. Excellent stuff. Sir, will the SNP move to the right after independence? Well, there might be another slightly more right party appears after independence. You see, we don't know. Can everybody follow us? I'm lost. What's he on about? Never, ever be lost. You'll always be able to catch up. Scotty McClure's like one of your favorite soap operas. You never lost for long. What's your favorite color? I have so many. See, Bear, do you like my wine color? Um, Jersey this morning. Scotty, what's one life advice you would give us? Be yourself. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Yes, never be jealous of anyone else because you hold all the cards and say two things to yourself. I can and I will. And when you're going into a situation, this is the moment and I am the one. And I can't say further than that unless I can't uh, say TH. <laughs> Fantastic. Now then, what have we got here? You should be a motivational speaker. Oh, Rona. Well, that might be the next step, you know. There's so many interesting things happening in my life at the moment. It's incredible. Any advice on how to get over heartbreak? Yes, Jack. You think of all the good times. You think of why you are heartbroken broken. If it's because you've lost a loved one, remember that you knew them in the first place and they knew you. And that's very important. What's the picture behind you? That says Scotty McClue. That's Lord Reith the Labrador's graduation. Fantastic. 
Uh, yes, another day, absolutely, Wardy. I love your shot. I thank you very much for that. Nice and cash. There we are. Can you say hi to Eddie? I can, Dustin. No problem at all. Thank you, Sea Bear. Do you watch? Uh, no, I don't get time to watch many things. This is my leisure time, you see. I pop up to speak to all of you. Where are you from in Scotland? All of it, Liam. I am Mr. Scotland. There we are. But uh, I'm over on the West Coast at the moment. You are lovely. I hope you have an amazing day. You too, Sam. Take great care of yourself. Uh, not at all. Thanks. No problem, Dustin. You are a top man. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, Scotty, do you play golf? No, I don't. I am the boss. How shocking. If I played golf, my career might have taken off, you know, <clears throat> because it's interesting. A lot of business is done in the golf course. And I remember being taken out to lunch to a very, very swish golf club and this chap leaned over conspiratorially and he said you know old boy i think i might be able to get you in here we're very very exclusive and i said well you know old boy don't put yourself out because i don't golf <laughs> i come from thailand how lovely to have you with us and that's the flag i was looking for somebody sent me the flag and i couldn't see which one it was what do you think of the Carmack situation with the ferries just now? I would like to see, Jack, back to the days of the ferries, the Clyde steamers, when we travelled easily. We can't during lockdown, but when we travelled easily between Guruk and Danun and Barra and Oban and all these things, you know, that sort of thinking. We need to get back into that. Scotty, I always look forward to your lives. This is the only quality content I see here. What a lovely thing to say. I am the boss. What are your pronouns? We don't do pronouns. My nouns are Scotty McClue. We're very, very modern on here. We're all inclusive, so nobody has to justify themselves. There we are. You make my day. Aaron, you say such lovely things. You all make my day as well. Remember, it's two-way traffic. Will you all be glued to the telly tomorrow for Prince Philip's funeral? Have you been all around the UK, Scotty? Yes, I have, Liam. People think, is he not on the radio? He'll be on the radio somewhere. Yes, all around the UK. <coughs> have a great day. Um, do you know, Suk, he's a big fan. There we are. Can you give my friend a shout out? I can, Crabs. What's your favourite A road? Well, I was a big fan of the A92 and uh, a big fan of the, the A82 and a big fan of the A74 and a big fan of the A6 and a big fan of the A1 <laughs> because these places took me to all these wonderful places that I was so privileged to work at. You're from Poland? No, but I'm going to learn Polish because you are. Hello from Sweden, Svenska. Yes, good morning. Uh, followers, guys. There's Russian Duck. Thank you so much for following. Guys, everybody, please follow me if you haven't. Here's what you're following, just so that you know. Scotty McClure, First Lord of the Internet, live on TikTok, at Scotty McClure. Dinky Do, follow, like, share this now, enjoy all the videos, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And here is Le Pièce de Résistance. Please follow me. Apparently, I had to handwrite this. I'll type it up properly later for you. It looks a bit amateurish, but there we go. Plus, tap the plus sign at the top left. And we have a massive follow fest. And if everybody can do that, because I've only been on here about three, four weeks. Wonderful stuff, dinky do. There's no plus sign, is there not? How do you follow then? Also, if you tap the Instagram, guys, it'll take you to Instagram and to my YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe. There's 1,300 videos for your education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. And they're all there for you. Scotty, have you met the Queen? I haven't had the privilege of meeting the Queen, but I know a lot of people who have, you know. I, um, 
I was going to show you something. Wait till I see if I still have that. Oh, yes. Hold on a second. Don't dash off. I've met this gentleman here. You'll know him. That gentleman there. And there's me just standing beside him. Yes. Do you see? There's my clue. And there's the man himself. So there we are. So there's a wee bit of proof. <laughs> what about that? That's lovely stuff. And I got this for you so that you know. Here's the chapel at St. George's. And that's where Prince Philip's funeral will be held tomorrow. The banners that you see there are the banners of the Garter Knights. Because there's two very big important orders in Britain. One is the Knights, the Order of the Garter, the Knights of the Garter. And the other is the Knights of the Thistle in Scotland. So there we are. And when you were writing to Prince Philip, which I have on occasion had the privilege to do so, you would address it as His Royal Highness the Prince Philip K.G. KD, sorry, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, KGKT, Knight of the Garter, Knight of the Thistle. Who's the guy you're beside? That's a Lord Reith the Labrador. Yes, that's him. You're such a handsome man when you're young. Susie, you say such lovely things. So there you are. I don't know at what period I lost it. <laughs> Should Scotland become a republic, Scotty? If not, why not? Certainly not, Daniel. Never, ever, 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 ever. Because Scotland is the father of monarchy. Yes, we actually run the monarchy. We took over the English crown in 1603. And Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. The declaration of our broth was the Scottish aristocrats writing to His Holiness the Pope in Rome to ask him if they could choose the Scottish king. There you are. So that's uh, the background to it, you see. Well, Prince Philip uh, be in line. <coughs> Sorry, I beg your pardon. Well, Prince Philip be in line to become the next Lord Commander um no, Prince Philip um, has passed away. Are you talking about his son? Scotty, what's the weather up there like? The weather is absolutely amazing. But I'm going to be staying in to do paperwork. But I shall open a window and breathe fresh air. Very true, our royals are Scottish. They are, and there are seven Scottish houses in Scotland. Seven royal houses. Hola, amigo. Hola, mi lamo, Scotty McClue. Si. Welcome, amigos. Have you ever experienced anything like COVID? Um, situation around the world before? No, no. But I did have a relative who cured tuberculosis. A delightful man. Uh, he was a distant relative, Sir John Crofton, lovely, lovely man, and he cured 16 million people of tuberculosis around 1948 because they brought in apologies. Not at all. I am the boss. Follow us, please, guys. I can't stand Susie. Why can you not swish rat? Do tell us what's the big problem. Uh, follow us, please, guys, as soon as you come on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Scotland will be free. Free of Westminster. That's the one that Scotland wants. Yes, economically, Scotland could do very, very well on its own. It always could. I have never yet heard a proper de facto case for the union. Because the union is built on sand, and it was brought in by jiggery pokery, by a Scottish queen, Queen Anne, the last of the Stuarts. Please follow us, guys. Good morning, Scotty. Big Kev working in Whitby, doing roadworks, Big Kev. We are so fortunate to have you on our stream. You are so fortunate to be in Whitby. We love Whitby. Disco Pete, how very, very kind. Disco Pete, guys, has just given me five beautiful TikToks. He's a lovely guy. Can you all follow me, please? I'm so short on followers. I've got, I've got hundreds of thousands, literally, this is true, hundreds of thousands of viewers. 
Yes, but I'm very short on followers for some reason. And can somebody please say they'll go and like the TikTok videos, tell me when they're going, tell me when they come back so I can see if that works. Also, can you check the link to the YouTube channel on my little Instagram square beside you? Guys, scroll down and see if you can follow me tapping on the link at the top left. All right. There you are. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning. Did he die? Prince Philip died. Yes, he passed away. Nothing gets past you, I see. I go to bed now when you're on and I wake up. You're on. What a shift, Scotty. Oh, Jadfa. Been up here putting in a shift all night, you know. Not at all. Slept like a log. Woke up in the fireplace. Aren't the house of Sax Coburg from Germany? They are, Daniel. Yes, indeed. Uh, that goes back to Prince Albert, who was an another outstanding public servant. So there you are. And uh, why would that be a problem, the Saxons? Because remember, most people in England are from Saxony, hence the name Anglo-Saxon. Do you see what I mean? So there we are. Scotty, can we get a trim check? Yeah, check your trim now. See how we are. Are we okay? Get the hat squared on. Squared on or squared off? What, do you square your cap on or do you square your cap off? In the Navy, it was always square off caps. So they would say, um, off caps, three cheers for Her Majesty the Queen. Ray, Ray, Ray. Yes, you would have that. And then... Uh, Replace caps, square off caps, and you, you'd line it up nice and neat, you see. That's for, that's for Prince Philip. Good morning, Scotty. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Josh. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo from Scotty McClue and all the other wonderful people on here. Uh, so there we are. Susie, you sought Swish Rat out. She was cheeking up. Happy Friday. You're up early today, Scotty Boyle. No disky feet. I'm always up early. I'm just on early. Because I thought, this is the last day I'm going to get a chance to pop up in the morning. Well, maybe Saturday, Sunday, but we'll be glued to the telly tomorrow for Prince Philip's funeral. I made the announcement last week. Check it on the TikTok videos. Yes, I announced it. Buckingham Palace announced it at midday. Scotty McClure announced it on the internet at midday plus 15 minutes. That's not bad. How can you support colonialism? Who's supporting colonialism? Sant Era. Who said anything about colonialism? Scotland will vote no again. Do you think so, SW? Why would they do that? Do you not think we've maybe learned our lesson from the last time? And we've had Brexit, which has robbed us of £200 billion. There we are. Followers, please, guys. Lots and lots of followers. Jonathan, thank you. The first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we add the world's most humble man. And the reason for that is I am a humble man. And I don't want people thinking, ah, he's getting a wee bit big on it, you know. All the success on the internet. You know, <laughs> that'll no last. Well, it's only lasted 29 years in June. So there we are. That's to the doubting Thomases. Pull up the drawbridge, cast Scotland adrift. You want to go off? Off you pop, Trev. You're such a beautiful guy. Thank you. If we could get every English person saying that, off we would pop. <laughs> but remember, you'd be £75 billion pounds down at the Exchequer, so don't bite the hand that feeds you. Fantastic. There we are. Independence. Let's do it. Lord of the Internet. Absolutely. Follow us, please, guys. The beer gates will not open again till a Stuart sits on the throne. So there you are. Well, Sevco. There we are. Prince Charles has got a lot of Stuart blood. Prince Charles's bloodlines are amazing. There we are. What are your pronouns? We don't do pronouns. That's passe. My, my nouns are Scotty McClure. Scotty, how's Mr. Martin? Oh, Mr. Martin, he was a wee bit dischuffed. 
So there we are. Such an accent. A user, thank you. But I don't think it is an accent. I think it's just the way I speak. You know, people, some people like it. Some people like it. You know, I haven't heard anybody say, I don't like the way you speak. Some I've heard people say, I don't like the way you speak to me. <laughs> I say, well, that's your problem then. There we are, because I'll not be changing it. Hello from Canada. We love Canada. Whereabouts? He's not bothered about that. Absolutely. Good morning, Scotty. Love from Whithorn. Ah, oh, St. Ninian. The home of Christianity in mainland Scotland. Iona being the home of Christianity on island Scotland as well. Fantastic. Any good recommendations on good Scottish ale? Well, oh, Hemo, I'm not the best person to ask because I don't drink alcohol anymore. But when I used to like it, you know, we used to enjoy a refreshment. And there was one called Tartan Special. That was the one. <laughs> do follow us, guys, please. What do you think of Ireland? I adore Ireland. The people and every blade of grass. I wish they'd get their act together loving each other. That's the only thing I would say. So hi, Phoebe. Thank you, dinky-doo. Guys, please follow us. Uh, is Mr. Martin still alive? I think Mr. Martin has sadly passed away. There we are, TikTok King. Where do you live? I live on TikTok. <laughs> I live in the world. I live all over the world. Uh, can you explain what happened on Bloody Sunday in Derry? Of course I can. Yes, every last bit of it. You've got to remember, I am one of your major, major broadcasters for 36 years. Mainline television and radio. I was in newsrooms when news used to come in like that. Not quite Bloody Sunday. I hadn't joined television at that point. But on my phone-in program, I have had people phoning in affected by it. I even had the paras phoning in. And one of them said, they say they don't want to identify. I'll give them my name. I said, no, you will not. Not on my program. So that was that. And he got cut off. But I had one of the, the, the paras phoning from the day of Bloody Sunday. And we used to, of course, get other people, families of victims, things like that. So Scotty McClue is a great conduit for people talking to each other and putting a stop to all this fighting. Yes, that's what we need to do. We need to embrace each other and say, ah, oh, my lovely Presbyterian cousin from the north and the south. Ah, oh, my lovely, lovely Catholic brother. Once we start doing that, because remember, Christianity is one religion. Yep, and you can't have racism if you've only got one race, the human race. I am from Britain. That means you stay on the uh, land mass that is Britain. What is happening, says Grace? Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, is talking to you. That's what's happening, Grace. Can you all follow me, guys? A lot of likes sent your way. Susie, babe, you are fantastic. I will just check. Thank you so much. There we go. Nothing showing up as yet. And can I have more followers, please, guys? Does anyone know the living ancestor of Oliver Cromwell? No, but I was not a fan of Oliver Cromwell, Daniel. I can tell you that. Very, very, very bad man. Can you speak German? Nein, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. There we are. Uh, guten Tag, guten Tag. Ja, ja. Absolutely. Uh, Celtic Rangers, Scotty. Go and see them both play, Michael. Make up your mind who you think's the best and follow them. But remember, it's not cast in stone. You can jump around between the two. You could be Rangers one week, Celtic the next. But my only advice, if you're going up the Celtic end at Celtic Park or Parkhead, 
then you'll need two scarves. If you're wearing your hoops scarf, which you would be, don't have your Rangers one poking out your pocket. That's all I'm saying. Morning from Renfrewshire, dinky do, dinky do every day. I have an interview at four. I'm extremely nervous. Right, <clears throat> Sarahs, the nerves stop now because you have absolutely no reason to be nervous. You are you. If you're accepted for this job, they would be extremely lucky to have you. So you have no worries. They're wanting to find out about you. You've done your homework on the company. You've got your answers. So what you're going to say is, I can and I will. Just before you go in for the interview, yes, dry your palms and say, right, give yourself a big smile and say, this is the moment and I am the one. If they don't take you, then they weren't right for you because they didn't see your joy and your talent. Have you got all that? If you haven't, ask me again and I'll tell you more. But I wish you all the very, very best. If you want the job, you'll get it. Yes, no problem at all. If you don't get it, it's nothing to do with you. There's other things going on. All right, Avocado from Mexico. Billy Bear, lovely to have you from Mexico. Godzilla says, I love you. I thank you, Godzilla. There we are. You got this. Absolutely. Up the RA, says Michael. That's the Royal Artillery. So Michael is a British Army officer. Up the Royal Artillery. Do you still work at, and he mentions a superstore, I do, so pop in any time, get yourself a, a half cabbage. There were, my ex-wife was on the tenant scan, Scotty. Excellent. Another 1.6k like sent your way. There's Calvin. Hello from England. Hello from Ireland as well. It's lovely to have you with us on top of the morning to you, I say. Right, let's see what's going on. Uh, yes, that's showing up now, guys. Thank you so much. And please follow me. Uh, who's this? Hi. What are your pronouns? Uh, we're way, way, way past that on here. We are, that's old hat. We're um, all-inclusive. So there we are. I like your reassuring and supportive personality, Scotty. No, it's very, very important because all of us need as much confidence as we can possibly muster after all this lockdown stuff and have been herded about. Have you ever been to Ayrshire? I know Ayrshire, like the back of my hand. Mohammed says, hello from across the pond. Lovely to have you with us, Mohammed. Where are you from? And a very good morning. Do you support a football team? Not financially, no. That's lush. Lush. Have you ever been to the Isle of Arran? Yes, a friends at Whiting Bay. And I knew the Reverend James Curry from Dramadoon. And uh, I knew the Reverend James L. Dow, might be before your time, from Loch Ranza, because he'd been the minister of Cartsburn Augustine in Greenock. St. Ninian's has been big style. I'm from California, born in Lebanon. Ma'am, it's lovely to have you with us. Absolutely. And uh, I know a lot of people from Lebanon. Lovely, lovely, beautiful, beautiful people. I said to them one time, I said, see when, uh, when, when you were sort of walking about, do you get the odd explosion? They went, oh, yes, yes, yes. I said, what, does it frighten you? No. We just get on with life. You have to. Beautiful people. I'm watching from Japan, from Japan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. We are international. Here's a gale. Come on, Charlie. Kamraha u. Kamraha u, Charlie. Hakama. Falchi, falchi, ki, demili falchi, don TikTok. I guess. Scotch, akma, kluch. There we are. What's the most popular non alcoholic beverage before tea and coffee in the UK? Oh, I think water. Water. I have a large water here. Ooh, that's lush. 
It's really lush. Morning, lad. Morning, lad. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, lad. Excellent stuff. Come and join us, folks. Can everybody tap, 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 tap. Bro, stop screaming. Hang on a minute. Could we all be quiet? Somebody's sleepy. Bro, I've just told them. So that should be all right. Okay. Hello. Watching you here in the Philippines. We love you in the Philippines. Dinky do. What does dinky do mean? It means it's all well with you and the world. Follow us, please, guys. That's an amazing story. Solid representation of the Lebanese mentality. Just beautiful, beautiful people, Mamet. You're lovely people. Be very proud. Your energy is amazing, sir. And you, sir, I salute you. Bless you. There we are. And everybody in Lebanon. Dinky is the scheme I live in. Aha, there we are. Have a good day. Um, you having a good day in the UK? I am, Brandon. Absolutely, sir. Yes, indeed. Uh, please follow me, guys, as soon as you come on. You're watching the first lord of the internet, Scotty McClue. This is the big one. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And dinky do follow, like, and share. Now, guys, we're very short on followers, but I have hundreds of thousands of viewers. And my detractors point out, they say, you only got about 40 at the moment. And I have to explain to them the way this works. Whatever's up on the counter there, they have just come into your house. Then the same number comes in again, and then again, and then again, because people scroll, so they join you, and then they have to push off. I'm a friend, my old friend, long time no see, my wee little chap, Jarman John, my little fruitcake. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, what time and day is it there? Andy, it's... Um, 55, 54, 9, 54 in the morning. So another six minutes, 10 o'clock. My university in California is themed around Scotland. Our resident halls are named after villages. Mamet, give me some examples. All right, you have done. Glenmore, Bannockburn, Stonehaven. Stonehaven, all one word. There we are. Hi, baby. Where are you from? I'm from the universe, baby. Scotland. Having a band practice today. Market, what kind of band? Are you talking pipe band, brass band? The sun is just coming out in Sligo. Happy birthday. Damn it. The sun always comes out in Sligo. Just occasionally, you get a wee bit of cloud there but over the flat bit to your mountains gorgeous can you say hi to my friend sean i can sean i live in newfoundland in canada cheers brian we love newfoundland yes and nova scotia i'll tell you what i do love the newfoundland dog wow the black flat coat retriever as well. What's the best kilt company? Oh, there's so many good kilt companies around. Do a dance. Okay. Can I dab? See what I just did there? I threw a few shapes for you. Fantastic. Hello, Scotty. Hello, luxury cars. My goodness, you're a trooper, sir. I say, guys, can you all follow me, please? Till I see we're very short in followers. And it would be a real, real help to building up the stream if you would just follow me. I'm watching from the Highlands. I hope you have a blessed day. Where in the Highlands are you? Have you the Gaelic? Yes, indeed. There we are. Kuashin. Shaw. Good morning, Scotty McClue. We love you from the Cross family. Louise Cross, we love the Cross family. We've never had a Cross want, and we send love to you. That was amazing dancing, Scotty. Oh, Lizzie, I'm all puffed out now, you know. What are your plans for the day? Paperwork. Paperwork today. Yes, absolutely. We love you in Tennessee, in the USA. Andy, we love Tennessee. I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee waltz. <laughs> I love your jumpers. I thank you, R.R. They are the very best, and I know you're a man of quality. Go on yourself, Scotty. We do, Louise, we do. Another sip of tea, if I may. 
You're English, right? Well, it depends where you are. I'm actually Scottish. There we are. But I've done a lot of work in England. And I love the English people. And I love England. Have you ever done acting, Scotty? I have, Scott. Yes. I've done a bit of acting. I am actually an actor to trade. Do you wear, ever wear tweed all the time? Check out Scotty McClue's tweed. Uh, you may not drink tea. Oh, Josh. Okay. Cancel the tea. Dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth this is, it's an early morning pop-up by Scotty McClue the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. Can you please follow me? I've handwritten this. It looks a bit, it looks a bit amateurish, but there, you'll just have to get on with it. You'll just all have to suck it up. Follow me, please, at Scotty McClure. Tap the plus sign at the top left. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't speak the Gaelic, but would love to learn. Well, indeed, yes, I think there's a lot of us in that boat. You deaf ain't from Glasgow. Steve, I am from Glasgow. Well, I'm actually from Greenock. <laughs> but, you know, I've lived in Glasgow most of my life, apart from all of my life that I haven't. There we are. Please follow me, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We'd like to build up our followers, and we're very, very short. Even if we got ourselves, I don't know, couple of hundred or something. Can somebody go and like some of the TikTok videos? They're all for you. And here, this is even better. Get yourself onto Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. The way to it, the quick way to it, is to look at the Insta Instagram logo beside my profile right now. Look down at your phone or at your device. See the little square Instagram logo. Pardon me, if you tap that, then up will come Instagram and YouTube for Scotty McLean. Hey, Scotty, we're back from South Shields. That's a terrible attempt at guessing an accent. We'll stick to my own country. Yes, Steve, good man. Absolutely, that was a fail, wasn't it? <laughs> but don't think about it. It's like Brian Blessed on holiday. Likes drinking the garlic. Essence of garlic. Have you been to Denmark to Danska? No, but I love Danish people. Prince Philip, of course, was Danish. His family were Danish. And um I I, I love I love your butter and your bacon. Stop. I might have a bacon butter. Sounds like you have an English accent. And putting this one on. Oh, I see. Simply aviation. Are you some sort of psychologist, psychoanalyst? There we are. No, this is my, this is just the way I speak. I love Dunedin pottery. This is Danun pottery. Guys, can everybody share the video and tap, 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 tap on the screen, please? Scotty, we're back on South Shields. South Shields, man. We love you, man. That's my terrible attempt. <laughs> yes, absolutely. What are your pronouns? We don't do any of that. We're very, very modern on here. Way past all that. My nouns are Scotty McClure. There we are. We're all inclusive here. You're nearly at 10K, are we? We are not. We are not. Are we? Why do we do that as people, guys? Somebody tells us something, and we give them the opposite answer. Like, I can remember as a wee boy, I said, Mum, there's Uncle Jimmy coming up the drive. And she goes, it is not. I said, I is, you know. Mum, I got a prize at school. You did not. I, I did, I did, you know. I don't know if you've just heard, but so-and-so's passed away. He has not. Yes, yes, he has. You're joking. Why Why would I joke about that? It's true, isn't it? Have you ever had that? There we are. Tell me if you've had that. I've liked all your videos, Scotty. Scott, you are such a top man. I'll just check if it shows up. 
There we are. Yes, something showing up. That's so good of you. Guys, if you all like the videos and follow me, that would be amazing. In fact, we have got 9,826 followers. Now, it's very, very poor for Scotty McClure, but if everybody can follow me now, we might make the 10K. That would be rather good. Uh, isn't South Shields a place somewhere in the north? It's in the northeast. So Shields, so you go to Newcastle, and then you'd you'd go out to the east, and you'd come to a lovely beach. You'd follow the Tyne all the way out towards the sea, and you'd come to South Shields, and it's beautiful, just gorgeous, lovely people and all. Uh, what's your favourite drink? My favourite drink is tea. Have you been to Ireland? I know every blade of grass in it, Michael. Yes, I love your mug. What kind of pottery? That's Danoon pottery. Now, I don't know if they're still going. I don't know the setup, but they made beautiful, beautiful mugs. And I've just always loved this. It's a real good bucket of tea, you know. We like that. I've got another one I'm working on. Uh, then I'm going to have some tea, I can show you. There we are. What about this one? Right? So I'm having that, but, you know, I think if I filled it with tea and drank two cups during a show, I might have to go a place. I might have to take a comfort break. You know, that sort of idea. <laughs> I want to say I love your show. I thank you so much. Sir, can you say hi for Scotland? Of course I can. Dinky do Scotland. We love you. So, Gargarten butter is the best. Yes, huh? Uh, yes, uh, I don't want to advertise, but I love the lure park. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. So, there we are. Cardboard says, You make me gay, Scotty. Oh, it was lovely. Is that the old-fashioned term for joyful? Yes, absolutely. There used to be a boat that went on the 4th and Clyde Canal. DJ Hawk, what are you doing? You lovely, generous person sending me TikToks. Guys, DJ Hawk, look at this. Stop! Stop! You'll, you'll bankrupt yourself. He's sending me 20, 30, 31. Stop! DJ Hawk is sending all these TikToks. He sent 40 TikToks. For goodness sake. Yes, there used to be a boat called the Gay Queen that left Mary Hill to go to Kirkintilloch. So there, good luck with that. What do you work as? Oh, lots of things, Stephen. I, um, I, I train. I train top people in the media. But I would never be so base as to reveal who. I um, do television and radio. I do TikTok as of a month ago. And we're getting really positive feedback. So the future might well be TikTok. And somebody told me to go on a site the other night. And this site lets people phone it up or get in touch with it. Say, so can you get Scotty McClure to give me a personal message, right? And we get some really reasonable price between the two of us. And I do your uh, answer phone message. I just found this yesterday. Amazing. So I don't know if that could be of interest to anybody. What's your favorite place in the UK? My favorite place in the UK would be Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. These are my four favorite places in the UK. Absolutely. I love your accent, Lizzie Kay. What a lovely thing to say. We were just talking about that. I don't think it's an accent. I think it's just the way I talk. There we are. Bro, what chat are you reading? Strictly business. I am reading immense chat. Fantastic. Hi, I've subscribed to your YouTube. Andy, thank you. Guys, get on to that YouTube channel. Seriously. It's it at the moment it's the world's best kept secret. Right? It's sitting there with I think about two and a half thousand subscribers and thirteen hundred 
quality videos which are available on your big telly. You go, Alexa, play Scotty McClue on YouTube. Getting that for you now, she will say to you. Thank you so much. Everybody should subscribe and watch that. The Scottish grandparents can relate. Simply aviation. I love your handle, by the way. Are you an aeroplane man? There we are. What's the greatest place on earth? Robo. I asked this on YouTube last night. So we're going to be finding out. You play golf? Says, uh, well, I don't. No, I've never played golf, but I told a lovely golf story last night. Mary, Queen of Scots, they say golf was invented in the 1600s in Leith Links. Mary, Queen of Scots played golf before that, an old form of golf. And she got the young French soldiers to carry her golf clubs. French was spoken in her household because she was brought up in France, obviously. And the young soldiers were known as les cadets, the cadets. Hence, the caddy for golf. Who is your cadet? Who is your cadet? You got it? Do you like that for a wee bit of a fact? G'day from Australia. We love you in Australia. Down under fair dinkum cobba. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Follow us, guys. I absolutely love haggis, says Cavs. What an interesting thing to say. I, I guess it's seasonal, really. I have it at Buns nights. You can have it for your breakfast, if you like. Well, Scotty, missed you yesterday, Ewan. You missed some fantastic stuff. I'm from South Shields. Ah, oh, well, Lisa, there you go, then. Fantastic. So there you are. Um, I'm from Newcastle. Uh, Robert, we love Newcastle. Scott Stake, eh? There we are. And uh, Scotswood Road. <laughs> I used to I used to broadcast from from Gate said man there we are are you from Danoon I'm not Kyla but I have family in Danoon and I know Danoon very 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 well indeed is anyone else getting grandpa in my pocket vibes is that a good thing Bob good morning can you say morning to Guernsey I can I had an old friend who was the Governor General of Guernsey. There we are, it's a very swish part of the world. We love you, Guernsey, we send you strength. Have you got beautiful weather? You are a cool man. I thank you, Bint. Dinky do. Freedom, says Sevco. Absolutely. Thanks for sending me two red roses, DJ Hawk. Another 1.4 likes. Susie, let me check this. Let me check this. Not showing up as yet, guys. Guys, can everybody please follow me? We're so short on followers. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. We're live on TikTok, dinky do. Follow, like, share. Enjoy all the videos. Tell 10 to tell 10. And please follow me. Somebody said they don't have a plus in the top left. Do you know anybody who's got a plus in the top left? Yep. And please go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Just tap the Instagram logo and you'll get a link to Instagram and a link to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. We also upload some of the TikToks. So there we are. Thank you so much, everybody. Opinions on BLM? Well, of course... <laughs> We are all encompassing, but the way to stop racism, there's luxury cars agreeing with me about the butter, the way to stop racism is to not mention colour. Do you see what I mean? We are totally approaching this the wrong way. Yeah, making everybody feel they can't say names and words and political correctness, that's gagging a whole generation. I don't agree with taking the knee because that smacks of bowing down to racism. We should be standing up to racism. But the way through any racism, you can't have it if you've only got one race, the human race, all right? So end of racism. 
Don't be mentioning color. Don't be saying this person's a person of color, this person's a person of color. It doesn't matter. This is a person. Once we embrace that as a society, you will see a vast change and big improvement on relationships between people, right? Because what's happening there is the differences or the perceived differences are being flagged up. How do I know this? Because if you watch a video of me from 26 years ago, I'm asked by a top broadcaster, you're doing all this controversial stuff on the radio at night. What about racism and races? Do you do that? And I said, no, we don't have any time for races. The fact that anybody should be being perceived as different because of the color of their skin is not acceptable. So, that's the way ahead, guys. And trust, listen to McLuhan, because I might look like an old fool. I don't mind that. This is what I look like, as my head of television once told me. We are having a conversation in the studio, and he said to me, um, here, I'd better let you go. You're about to read the news in 30 seconds. I said, all right, thanks. Do I look okay? And he went, well, that's what you look like, and walked out the studio. And I thought, how cruel. Then I thought later, no, he's absolutely right. What was I going to do? Swap my head for another one? Change my suit? Change my shot? I had less than 30 seconds. Then the big lights, television in those days, big lights, bang, in your face. You said, good morning. Here is the news. Oh, my goodness me. What's the strongest black tea you can buy? Well, it depends what tea you like, Andy. I like um, um, uh, an Earl Grey in the morning, an English breakfast tea, a Darjeeling, an Assam. You know, there's all these wonderful teas. Who sent me? DJ Hawk has sent 40 TikToks. Guys, please follow me as soon as you come on. Where's my Glasgow boys? Good morning from Birkenet. Shmooey, we love you in Birkenet. OMG, amazing accents of Scotland. Opinions on BLM, well, I've done that. Pronouns we don't bother with because we're all, uh, we are all encompassing here. That's a good subscriber to video ratio. Is that good? So there we are. Can I get a shout out? We've only been going for four weeks, guys. Hello from Ireland. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. There we are. My mum was Scottish. Should be fabulous. Your voice is very attractive. Josh, would you pay something to get me to do your answer phone message? Are you racist towards Japanese pirates? Nobody is racist towards Japanese pirates. So there we are. Can my puppy get a dinky do? Her name's Maggie. Of course she can. Thank you for following Scotty. I just lost my wee papa a few weeks ago. So I'm a wee bit down just now. Susie, you knew your wee papa and he knew you. Don't be down. Don't grudge him his passing because he loved you and you loved him. Think of all the good times and today start celebrating his life. Think, you know, he was a wonderful man. I was thinking yesterday, please, can you do a live tonight? Yes, Luxury Cars, what's the best time to go live at night? Hello from Mammoth. There we are. <laughs> well, everybody says hello from the Mammoth. You're not born ignorant or racist. You're brought up that way. Absolutely, Susie. Good for you. Guys, mind my grandpa. Yes. Hello there. Hello, Munster. Uh, so true, bestie. You can't beat Yorkshire tea. What do you think I'm having right now? And you can't beat Yorkshire either. I love it. Loved Yorkshire. I wish there was more than one of me. <laughs> this is the TSA. Yes, the TSA is the world, the transmission survey area. 
That's what it means. I only drink Fortnum and Mason tea. Very, very good. I used to shop in Fortnum's. Very nice. And also Jackson's of Piccadilly. They did a great tea as well. I think I've still got some of their tea tins. There we are. Dinky Doo. J Dog. Lovely to have you with us. Top man. Hi from here. J Dog, I'm doing the morning because, as you know, next uh, week will not be able to do the mornings. So there you are. A week since I first saw you on TikTok, I'm glad I saw that live. Your lives are brilliant. Was that when we announced the passing of Prince Philip at 12.15? So there we are. Now then, steak or bacon? Uh, you can have both, you know. If you're in Yorkshire, you can go in to an ice cream pub and order a mixed grill. Go into a wee cafe and order a mixed grill. How many wars have you fought in? Oh, all my life. No, I haven't, thank goodness. Thank the good Lord, thank God. But my grandfathers were in the trenches. So there you are. Well, one of my grandfathers fought in Gallipoli with a regiment called the Scottish Horse. He was mounted cavalry. And there's my other one, old Neil, wonderful man. Uh, ready to go off to fight in the trenches of the sun. There he is there, you see. Look at that. What an amazing guy. And I knew him so well. He was a lovely guy. Very, very hard working. Oh. <laughs> Roast potatoes or French fries? Both. I'll have just a few potatoes and uh, I'll have some ordinary tatties boiled, steamed. I steam my tatties. Is that a good? Handsome fellow, that very handsome chap, Maria. Absolutely. Although, I have to say, when it comes to being handsome, check out my father. I don't know how I missed out on the jeans. Is that guy not just amazingly handsome? And that was my father. It was a bit of a film star, actually, you know. Just amazing guy. So there we are. I had some others I was going to show you. Anyway, we can get that at any time. 7 p.m. for the live. Do you think a uh, drink or snot? Never snot a drink. You'll damage your nose. So there we are. Never, ever snot alcohol. Anybody. Don't have that. If you want a high, have nothing. There we are. I've never in my life taken a drug. Um, apart from, I used to experiment with alcohol uh, and tobacco. Uh, the tobacco's gone 22 years and the alcohol's gone seven years. So there we are. And I would never, ever touch a drug. That's for real, real dafties. So don't be taking any of that because you'll never find your way out of it. So there we are. Uh, caffeine, well, yes, I suppose I have taken a bit of caffeine. Have Having a little caffeine now. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. The gym or the bar? Uh, neither. A good walk, mints and tatties, both. <laughs> I had last night, I had mints and pasta, we pasta twiddlies. What do you call them? What's the word for them? So there you are. Um, now, fantastic. Uh, there's a guy called Itchy saying, dude, I just ripped a bong. Right. Now, I don't know the setup with um, COVID at the moment. Now, I don't know if they're open, but you should be able to get that repaired. All right. Somebody will do an invisible repair on your bong and um, you know you'll you'll be able to get back in business there we are tell me something mind blowing i am a time traveler bet that's blown your mind isn't it there we are japan it's um 620 there we are it's the 16th yes that's the same as here and it's 620 in the evening i've just finished school we say Hi, in Japan, Japan, 
So there we are. Tyna, we're not advertising uh, drink on here. I'm watching from London. We love London, Igor. How are you getting on with the lockdown? Whereabouts in the big city are you? Do tell us. Guys, I need everybody following me. We are so short on followers. It's tragic. We've been going a week now and we've got less than 10,000 followers. Well, we're just coming up to 10,000 followers, but it's, it's heartbreaking. Please, everybody, follow. Why is there no ibuprofen in the jungle? Because the parrots eat them all. Paracetamol. Paracetamol. A guy jumped out of an aircraft. Two guys jumped out of an aircraft. One shot past the other. And he had a budgie on his shoulder. He said, I don't think much of this budgie jumping. The other one hit the ground and broke every bone in his body. Turned round, took out his gun and shot a parrot in his shoulder, said, no, and I don't think much of the free fall parrot shooting either. Your eyes are very beautiful. I thank you, A.W. As the, there we are. Now then, I love you. Thank you, D. D R R. Uh, so there we are. Someone stole my training shoes and Florin jacket, but he can't hide. He can run, but he can't hide. Gotcha. <laughs> so there we are. Can you say Hiskama? Kamraha u Hiskama. Maha, how are you? So there we are. You the man, Unks. I thank you, Tamaj. You the man as well. You're very kind. Guys, thank you for following me, please. We were hoping that we might get to at least 10,000. It's Scotty McClure. It's the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. I used to have quarter of a million people listening every half hour. So I should be able to surely, I should be up at 90,000 followers by now. Please help and like the TikTok videos. Guys, please also share this and don't sort of go, I, I, so I will. No, please do. Because we used to have a lot of wee trolls, but they don't come on now. And we had a lot of wee trolls who have changed their tune and say, Sorry, sorry for trolling you. I didn't realize. They didn't realize this was real top quality. Great beard up the custard creams. House of Jabba, good morning. Susie Bam, thank you so much for sharing the live video. Very, very much appreciated. And guys, also, please do some following. I find it very strange that people follow during the lives, but not during the day when we're not live. You know, so you can sit with the same number. Please follow us as you can. Thank you, Mr. Blue. Commenting on videos makes the video do better. Ah, everybody get commenting then. There we are. Love from Eastern Somalia. We love you from Somalia. Thank you for coming and joining us. Good morning in Dinky Doo. Well, we don't know what if it's morning in Somalia. What's the time in Somalia, anybody? I don't have, when I look up at my clocks, I don't see Somalia. I'll need to get my labels out and write another one. Now, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. Just to let you know, tomorrow, there we are, Prince Philip's funeral will be in St. George's Chapel. Do you see down the bottom of your picture, there's the round tower at Windsor, there's St. George's Chapel. And I have been a friend and descendant of St. George's Chapel since 1977, I think. Maybe it was 75. There we are. Uh, please follow me, everybody. Dinky do. I know that chapel so well. I could take you around. The Queen's father's buried there. You know, it's absolutely amazing. Hello, Governor Dinky do. This is a comment. Or oh, do you mean this commenting, Marty? You don't mean going to the other TikTok videos and commenting on them. Right, I'm with you, absolutely. Excellent stuff. Okay, so guys, if we can all follow and spread the love, as Lee says. Dinky do, Echo, Dinky do. Is that your favorite? The Tennessee mash, the sour mash. 
Spread the love. We spread the love. If you've just joined us, Scott O'Clue with you, of course. Get liking, get following, get on to the YouTube channel. Who's been on the YouTube channel? Come and tell me, please. I got this lovely jacket out of the charity shop. It had a hanky in the pocket and a fiver. Amazing. Your accent does things to me, says Dolphin. Oh, my goodness, Dolphin. I used to work at the Guards Polo Club in Windsor, Great Park, seeing all the royals on a day-to-day -day basis. I can remember as a little boy, K13, thank you for a lovely, lovely present. I can remember, share this live. Kyora bro, absolutely dinky-doo at the break of the cinema. Um, I can remember standing in Windsor Great Park, and this might have been the best part of 55 years ago. And the gate man with a top hat, they used to have top-hatted gate men. I don't know if they're still there. And we were standing, my father was having a chat to them. I think they'd maybe been in the same regiment during the war or something. And they were chatting away. And my father said to us all, uh, let's just stand still for a moment. And the Queen shot past in the car and waved to us. It was so beautiful. She had her headscarf on. And I think the car at the time was one of these beautiful big I think it was actually a Humber Estate or a Rover or something like that. And she shot past. She'd been out. We saw then the grooms coming back with the horses. So she'd been out riding. She'd been out horse riding. And she obviously had to dash back to the castle. And uh, she went at some lick straight past. But she gave us a wave. It was lovely with that. And I can remember turning around to my mother and going, was that the Queen? And she said, yes, dear, that was the Queen. Oh, amazing. So there we are. Where are all the other kings and queens buried? Well, um, I don't know who exactly is at Frogmore, but the bulk of them are all buried in St. George's. Old George V and all the rest of it. I'll show you. Uh, it wasn't until 1969 they actually buried the Queen's father, and he died in 1952. So he would have been on a shelf in the royal vault. And then the Queen Mother said, we need to bury the king. And they have a little chapel where she's buried as well. And I'm going to see if I can find you a photo of that just to show you, because it's a lovely, lovely thing. Um, you know, it's the most beautiful. And I've stood there and just looked. It just says George V1, George the Sixth. And it's very, very moving. See, the royal vaults are down below. Yes. So there we are. So the bulk of them will be down there. And there's the Queen and Prince Philip in their garter robes, you see. Can you see that? For the garter ceremony, which takes place in the summer. And sometimes you'll add new garter knights, usually former prime ministers. I feel sorry for the Queen. It's all so hard when you lose your partner. Absolutely, Callum. Yes, indeed. Let me see if I can see the chapel for you guys, because I know you would probably appreciate it. And it's it's very, very simple, you know, because really that's what we have. All this chapel, isn't that a beautiful window? There's the great window in the chapel. Gorgeous. This place goes back to the 1300s, guys. Shout out to my grandma. There we are. Uh, her 80th birthday today. Fantastic. I see. Just give me one wee minute. See if we still find that. Yeah, because as I say, it's well worth a look. It's a beautiful, beautiful old chapel. Though. It really is incredible. And when you go up, when you stand up above Windsor Castle, you can see over, you see the chapel for Eton College. Absolutely amazing. There you go. And there's the king. You see, can you read the floor there? It just says George VI. I don't know if you can manage to see that. That's where the king's buried and the queen mother. 
tiny, tiny little chapel. And it just says on it, George VI, George V1. And that was the Queen's father. So there you are. There's a bit of information. John Major's a knight, a garter knight, garter knight badge. It would be, yes, former prime minister. He is indeed KG and Prince Philip, of course, KG. I once had occasion to write to Prince Philip and you addressed it. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, KG, KT. And that was all because that man would have an absolute, you know, you couldn't get all his letters in an envelope, I would think. The king didn't abdicate who would be, if the king didn't abdicate, who would be in the throne? How do you mean, Scott? The king, I mean, Edward VIII abdicated. George VI passed away at 56. Please follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Lots and lots of wonderful information. If you've just joined us, Scotty McClue here for you, saying dinky-doo. What's this? says Pippin. Pippin, this is Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, one of the most important TikToks you'll ever see. So come and join us. Hi, hi, Megan. Dinky-doo. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We've got lots to talk about and so little time to do it in. And if you're scrolling, stop. This is where you get off. This is what it's all about. Guys, I need some followers, please. Yos, uh, is there any male equivalent of the Queen Mother? Yes, uh, Prince Philip. Yes, Prince Philip was the consort to the monarch and the Queen Mother was the consort to the monarch. Yes, absolutely. And Prince Albert was the prince consort to Queen Victoria, you see? So that would be the male equivalent. Absolutely. Can somebody tell me where he's from? Pippin, I am from the universe. I'm from TikTok. I am here for you to say dinky-doo. Fantastic. Enjoy it. He said, this is where you get off. Get home. <laughs> Fantastic. It's wonderful stuff. Now, I think I'm going to have to push off, guys. But... Uh, Fantastic. I'm a king. I'm looking for a consort. Dinky Doo. <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo Pippin. My grandpa's born in Scotland. Wonderful. I'm so confused. Declan, why on earth should you be confused? You're watching Scotty McClue. Wait, why wasn't Prince Philip not king? Because he wasn't in the line of secession or succession. There we are. What are you up to the day, Scotty? So there we are. It's gone down the Windsor line. There we are. A very, very busy. There's Connor saying up the Royal Artillery, up the RA, a very fine regiment of the British Army. Well done, Connor. Connor must be an officer in the Royal Artillery. Delivery, the gunners. There we are. We love you, Scotty. Dinky do. What is Dinky do? Dinky do is all well with you in the world because he was the Queen's cousin. I think, yes, a second cousin. They could both trade themselves back. O'Connor says the IRA. Oh gosh. Connor, the IRA died the day Lord Mountbatten died. The IRA was split right down the middle over that. That was the end of that. I know there's still a few kind of thugs about saying, oh, we are there, we are there, you know. But forget that. And the very end was at the peace process, the Good Friday Agreement. So there's no requirement now. Do you think Charles will take the throne? Or William, who would you like to? No, Charles should have the throne, his rightful place, you know. Uh, there we are. This guy deserves the world. Pippin, I thank you so much. You're very, very kind. There we are. Lovely of you to join us as well. What are you smoking? We don't smoke, so you mustn't judge everybody by yourself. How old are you? Well, we don't know, Jean, because I'm an, of an indeterminate age, because I'm a time traveler, you see. So nobody knows. And I wasn't born. I was knitted by my grandmother. So you see, it's very difficult to know. Uh, will Camilla become queen when Charles is king? She will uh, become the consort. So she'll probably be known 
as uh, the Duchess of Cornwall, I would think. So there you are. That would be my thinking. I would need to check everything exactly because there's all sorts of possibilities. They looked at it for uh, Prince Edward VIII um, about uh, what would be possible if he stayed on as king. So there you are. And, of course, the abdication speech was from Windsor Castle, who was present, but Sir John Reith. He announced it. And it was a giveaway because he said, thank you, Pippin, because he said, uh, this is Windsor Castle, His Royal Highness, Prince Edward. I never really thought Prince Edward. The king must be going. He's abdicated. Once he'd finished the speech, he said to John Reith, thank you for coming, Reith. He was about to say something else, but Ruth never knew what. And then he and Walter Monckton headed down to Portsmouth, where the destroyer was at the Fury. Can't remember HMS Fury. Anyway, they got on a destroyer, and as soon as they stepped on, the telegraphs rang for the engine room, the deck started to vibrate, and that destroyer left Portsmouth, and that was our king in exile as a prince, as Duke of Windsor. They were, what about that? Thanks. Now, uh, what have we got here? I'll get back to you right. What we ask you, what do the royals really do? Well, they all perform about 500 public engagements a year on behalf of the country, so outstanding public service. But the real function of the monarch and the consort is as curator and custodians of the crown, and the crown is our symbol of authority going right back to Jesus Christ. And before, in Scotland, 2,347 years. So it's a huge responsibility, but without any so-called real power. But the Queen does keep control of Her Majesty's government, Her Majesty's opposition, and she can warn and advise, or advise and warn. So the Queen could say to the Prime Minister, may I just say to you, Blah, blah, blah. You're flying a bit close to the sun here, Icarus. You know, whatever. Whatever way they would speak. Nobody knows the conversations between the Prime Minister and the Queen because they're totally classified. Except the Prime Minister and the Queen. What's the national animal of Scotland? I would have thought the national animal of Scotland would be the unicorn of the stag. Why is the royal crest missing from Buckingham Palace? Well, Buckingham Palace, you see, wasn't always a royal palace. Buckingham Palace was built for the Duke of Buckingham, and uh, he sold it to the royals for five grand. So it wasn't originally a royal palace. Have you ever watched the? Have you watched the Crown? I've seen one and two. I haven't seen the latest ones. Have you ever seen the Loch Ness monster? I've seen people that look like her. Uh, you look handsome, I thank you very much. Hello from Australia. We love you in Australia, dinky do. Uh, your view on Prince Charles, outstanding man. Very, very clever, very sensitive, and uh, very experienced. So there we are. And, of course, the son of Prince Philip and the Queen. Uh, thank you for following us, guys. Very, very important. I'll show you a picture. If you didn't see it earlier, there's Prince Charles. There's Prince Charles. Yeah, there. And there's me. There. Yes. So there you are, you see. There we are. I'd love to be doing that. What's that? Uh, my ex looks like the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, yes, you've got to be very careful. Ha, oh, very good. <laughs> I'll send down a rocket for you. Excellent, and we shall time travel. Now, is it time I wasn't here, guys? Thoughts on Prince Andrew? Well, nothing has been proven. 
of all this stuff. And there's a lot of detractors out there like to say these things. But these are the people in the gutter, not Prince Andrew. Do you know what I'm saying? He obviously kept some questionable company at one point in his life, you know? Uh, so there we are. That's what I would have said. You are Tory. No, I'm apolitical. I don't have any political leanings at all. What's your opinions on Meghan Markle? Um, uh, people on my FYP, so I'm scared. I'm very dischuffed with her, actually. She's been a bit of a disappointment. Imagine you give somebody, you welcome them into your family. You give them everything she could possibly need. And then you get dumped on by this person. Are oh, you a conservative? I always get these people on my Facebook. No, no, I don't know anything about conservatism. I don't know what. I don't even know what it means. Sign, thank you so much. Lovely, lovely. I'm getting beautiful red roses from Seven Sign. Your accent's nice. It makes me happy. I'm from England, Scotland. Jonathan, what a lovely thing to say. The interview was strange. Sorry, it wasn't right. The Meghan interview or the Prince Andrew one. Sign, what are you doing? You're giving away all your money to Scotty McClue. Guys, thank you so much for all your generosity. Can you follow me, please? We're needing to get some followers on here. I need everybody to follow. Uh, we've got uh, likes as well, followers and likes. Tap, 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 tap. If you haven't followed, please do. That's it there, guys. Seven signs, stop. Yeah, so I've already, has everybody got a plus on the top left of their screen? Seven sign, you bankrupt yourself with all that generosity. Stop. There we are. Do you like Piers Morgan? He's an outstanding journalist, and I'll bet you the audience figures are down in that program without him. That's what I would say there, guys. I can tell you that for nothing. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Ollie J. Lovely to have you with us. Seven sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your amazing generosity. That was so very, very kind of you. Opinion on Diana. Very, very sorry for what happened to Diana. She went a bit rogue at uh, the end. Um, if she'd been under the Royal Protection Squad, she would have had a seatbelt on or they wouldn't have moved the car. All that sort of idea. A shave wouldn't be bad. John, go and have a shave if that's what you want to do. People don't like Piers Morgan because he speaks the truth. Well, I speak the truth, and people don't like that. I can tell you. What's your opinions on the demographic displacement of the peoples of the European Union? Almost 70 million people have been robbed of their EU citizenship by Brexit. Brexit is the worst act of self-harm. Craig Logan, stop avoiding the question. What are you talking about? We might have missed your question. Did we miss Craig Logan's question? Does anybody know? Oh, yes. Uh, so I'm not political, guys. So you don't have to bother about that. You deserve it. Seven sign. It's so kindly and so generous. I'm actually saving up for a new phone, and all that will go towards it. You know, have you ever been down to Cumbernauld? I say up, Daniel. What's it called? Cumbernauld, Abram Hill. Wonderful. And I'll tell you where else I loved Cumbernauld. Did you ever see the um, film about it? Fabulous, fabulous film. There we are. Right, greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. Chris, I did not know there was a Scapa Flow in Texas. I love it. How amazing. Wow. So there we are. Jesus loves you. Yes. Night. Uh, get yourself on to Scotty McClure's TikTok videos. Scroll down. You'll see me sitting sideways at the pipe organ. And I will play you Jesus loves you. This I know. For the Bible tells me so.
Hi from the States. Whereabouts are you stateside, Katie? Lovely to have you with us. Elaine says, Defo. Do you think Margaret Thatcher was cute? In her own way, she had a cute wee face. She also had acute problems with uh, with the minors. Yes, so they were very acute. And I somebody had to grasp the nettle to an extent. And she was a remarkable politician and a very strong lady. But I did not approve of the way she treated the minors. Very, very, very not approve of that. There we go. Follow us, guys, if you're coming on, dinky-doo. Are you Boris Johnson's long-lost uncle? I don't think so. Princess Diana was a beautiful, lovely woman. She was there for the people, Scotty. She was indeed, Susie. You're absolutely 100% correct. I can't fault that. She certainly didn't deserve her ending. What a posh English man, pure English. The seller, thank you, because I'm not English at all, you see, but very kind of you. I'm Scottish. Yes, yes, the film's Abram Hill, like you said. Ah, I think you do. Did you like Chick Murray in the film? I love your stuff, says Chris. Because uh, you shouldn't want to do things by the book. Don't make her a bad person. Okay, Susie, if you are a Thatcherite, Prince Philip is in a box. He is indeed. And he may he rest in peace. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful, Dacilla. Thank you. I've been in a few states, but never America, Scott. Good man. Uh, I'm back, says so Swiss rat. You sound... Uh, so there we are. Uh, Dacilla, yes, absolutely. What is your point? You know, we know this. That's what happens when you die. You know, absolutely. There we are. You're English. No, Dacilla. No, no, Scottish. Hey, King Dinkiru. There we are. Right. Uh, it's time I wasn't here. Do you want me to play you a tune on the squeeze box? I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box, you know? Before I go, then I have to dash off. Lochiel, Cameron, teaching ancient Gaelic language and history. You should check in. Absolutely, Cameron of Lochiel. Fine fellow, actually, the Cameron men. My father was a Cameron man. He was a Queen's own Cameron Highlander. <laughs> Did you like that, guys? Are we tuning on the squeeze box just to say cheerio? Right, I'll have to dash, but please follow me. Look at all the videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay fabulous. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. And uh, stay safe. Uh, right, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Join in if you can. Hi, Scotty. Hope you had a fabulous day. Thank you, Sarah Queen. You're such a lovely person. Lovely tune, Gov. I'll have a wee dram to you. Thank you, Gov. Here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery old. Have a lovely day, guys. Thank you for joining us. I'm falling back to earth. Another great show. Thank you. Dinky doo. Lovely. Thank you, Scott Daniel. Ta-la-las and dinky doo.